Hello and welcome back to the Maisie Motley Crew YouTube channel. You find me outside the shack at 5 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Very special day today. Well, we made 700 subscribers last night, didn't we? So the whole crew are just blown away. We just want to thank everybody for their support. It means so much. Um, we've come a long way for me sitting in a little six by six shed, you know, trying to make some, some videos to so look what we've got now you know we've got a nice amazing crew together we've got some brilliant anglers on board as well you know fish being caught left right and center it's all being filmed the support's fantastic you know making a nice little community on the youtube so i just want to say thank you uh, on behalf of you know everyone involved the crow crew everyone we want to thank you so much but anyway today's session everyone's together woohoo so everyone's together we're heading down to a low water mark we're going to head on over see how everybody's doing meet up and get down there oh yeah please be advised that fishing low water marks is extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone alone and or anyone who doesn't know what they are doing stay safe and respect the water we're on our way we're off to fish new brighton behind morrison's I'm gonna meet me all the rest of the lads there. Full crew today. Everyone's gonna to be there. Um, and two of my mates are coming down from uh, from Mottra, Old Colwyn, well Colwyn Bay. Um, John, gamekeeper John, some of you will know him already. Um, and uh, it's mate Michael Tasker. So yeah, they're uh, coming down after the smooth pounds, same as us. So. All looking good, can't wait, it's going to be a busy day on the beach, it's going to be full, so hopefully there'll be uh, a few fish caught and uh, hopefully someone will get a, a decent smoothie. Fingers crossed, it's a bit wet, um, but hey ho, you know what I mean, the fish don't mind, so let's get out there and uh, hopefully we can get some uh, quality fish for you. Right, here we go, we're on uh, Bubbles Beach. Fishing for smooth hound on anything else I'm taking. So I've got my, uh, my two squadrons, uh, one of which I've had for a good, good few years, uh, and the other which is fairly new. Uh, we're fishing with a pulley pedal. No, we're not fishing with a pulley pedal. We're fishing with a pulley rig with a crab on it, and I've got um, a flapper rig with lug on it uh, and I think we've got something on the, uh, on the lug possibly I'm possibly seeing some bites on that lug I'm not sure anyway uh, we're at Bubbles the whole lot of us are here the whole crew plus a couple of guests and uh, yeah let's catch some fish so today, I've, on the left hand rod, I've got uh, a Chinese replica of the surf blaster because mine broke. Uh, so, uh, just waiting for that to get sorted out. Uh, but in the meantime, I've got this. I've also got the Moonraker. Uh, I've switched, switched to that today, it hasn't been out in a while, so I've brought it with me. I've also got my Procaster on the right hand side with my surf blaster 3. Uh, this rod has got a pulley dongle on it. I'm testing the new rigs out that have come in the shack. Uh, on the left hand side we've got a standard pulley panel uh, and it has a circle hook on the top. I've got squid on the left, peeler, well softies on the right. So um, all we can do is see how we get on. Um, so let's do it. Let's go and see how everybody else is doing too. I right, think Chris. I'll do, I'll do. What's happening son? Yeah, I I was a couple of minutes mate, but this one just had a nice little pull down. The other one put a bit of tension on it, but it just doesn't seem to be much there. Sweet. I'm on a good sign, mate. Good sign to early start, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Uh, what baits have you got on that? Uh, I'm just using crab today, mate. Is that all you've got? All I'm, all I'm using. What rigs are you using, mate? I've got an up and over on one, size four, and single hook. And I've got a panel on the other, still single hook, size four. Sweet. Well, Spankers, them, aren't they? Yeah, it's cheap, cheap, cheerful though, mate. You've got a little bar, in there. Go ahead, talk us through it. What? Talk us through it. Well, I bought them. Got to pay for 30 quid. That's a bargain, now. It is, aren't they, mate? What, what are they casting like? They're all right, actually, mate. Sweet. They are very good, yeah. 
Well, this is what I was saying the other day about uh, finding, you know, second-hand gear, you know, cheaper older rods and reels. You know, sometimes, right? Uh, brand new, they've never been used. I found a bought them. I was going to use them on a boat, uh, but apparently they were too big for the reels to use on a boat. Well, there you go. Um, Tip of the day. Always have a new around online, try and get some cheaper gear. Got it. Why not? First of all, for a pair of reels. Mr. Smooth. Smooth by name, smooth by nature. There he is. What's happening, Si? Yeah, that's bad, you are with spiders already. Are the crabs in? Yeah. Oh dear. So we're we baiting. Yeah. What bait are you what bait are you using? Squid on one, crab on the other for now. I've got some king prawns there as well. Sweet. So I'll try them. Happy days. Uh, we'll see what happens. Sweet. So, Sweet. Oh, Pen rivals, I'm looking at buying one of them, mate. A rival? Yeah. It's nice, just... mate, to be fair. I'm thinking of getting one. Pretty nice, I like them. Sweet. So, the mine cost me 110. Yeah, there you go. So, but yeah, no. Oh, God, we'll see what happens, eh? Yeah, right. Good luck, mate. Good. Here he is. It's comedy down there. Cockney Rebel. Morning. How are you doing? Alright. Good. Fresh as a daisy. Fresh as a daisy, eh? Four o'clock start. Mr. Smooth's getting closer to me, I think he misses me. What's he saying? I don't you know. What he said? I've just come straight down. Straight <laughs> down, straight down yeah, straight down. He's come over here. Now. Oh, he's come over here. There we go. Yeah. Into this gully, right? Getting closer and closer. Yeah. 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 What are you fishing on? I'm not fishing on this gully. I've got a whole squid out at the moment. Whole squid? And I'm using alternating crab. I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah. 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 Yeah, hopefully so, yeah. I think so. Hopefully so. I'm you got it on the flood of it. Yes, on the flood here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm hoping to catch a razor there as well, we'll see. Nice, to, nice condition. Yeah, I'm going to swap to blue in a bit. What ring are you on? Just the up and over or whatever it is. Up and over? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Tell us what you're using, lad. All I ever use nowadays. With the up and over? Yeah, I don't use bloody rigs really. I'll only use them if it's really rough. Okay. Um, I just use a short up and over. Okay. Just Let's just get back a little bit so I can get that in. That's amazing, that, yeah. Short. Right, so how does it work? Yeah, right, okay. Got, still got quite a nice trace. Is that fixed, is it? Yeah, it's fixed. It's fixed, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Well, how, what ounce lead are you using? Six on here. Six ounce lead. And there's your crab. It's just a yeah, three, okay. three o. Yeah. Uh, two o. So okay. Small baits. I saw it for years great. this year. Do you make them yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Just sort of stick with one rig now. Yeah, just stick with the same rig. Uh, it's whatever it's works for you, isn't it? The end of the day. It's rough though. I will use a poly. Yeah. Uh, you know, rough ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, straight line. Man. There we go. Very nice. That's it. All right. Good luck. Catching a bit. So Mike went out last night and got some local uh, blow. Which is in there. Some fa oh look at that. Sure. Some fantastic stuff in there. Look at that. Nice perfect size as well. Very nice. Very nice. So, right, yeah. show us how this works, mate, for the well, viewers at home. What I do is the reason I run a uh, pedal hook on my rigs like this, because not a lot of people do it on a flapper rig, is you pop the top of the hook through the lug. Run it down, out just above the tail, pull the lug over the top of the hook, bring this hook down, wrap it three times around the line, and then pop it through the top of the lug. And what that does is, it stops the lug dropping down onto your bottom hook, presents it really well, because that looks natural. Uh, yes. So it's all about presentation then, is basically what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about presentation. Fantastic when tip. when it comes to bass, that's how they like the worm. They don't like the mug scrunched up into like a ball. They like it like that, yeah. presented in a line. I mean, uh, obviously that doesn't work for everybody. Some people catch bass on a, on, a, on a scrunched up worm, but I find that the bass like that. Well, it's preference, isn't it? It's yeah. personal preference. That's how I prefer Well, someone might try that. It might work for them, you know. Yeah. Um, you never know. Yeah. So the top tip there from Mike. Uh, for more top tips, hit subscribe, hit like. Give us a comment in bullet in the air uh, below and uh, we'll get round to answering or at least liking every comment we can. Good luck mate. Cheers. Uh, Thanks, Rich. Oh for, actually before I head back, I'm just gonna show everybody where we are. There's the, uh, the the New Brighton flats. So the dips are just over there. There's the clown. Uh, 
and as you can see just there is the double slip there's what they call bubbles Morrison's is there you come down the, uh, what would be the right hand ramp over there walk down and here you are as always it's a low water mark so you have to be careful you have to be safe be vigilant don't take risks uh, and always keep your eye on the water let's see Mike cast this out There you go. Yes, mate. Bless the lads down there. John Tasker. Mike up there. Just cast me first one out. Just gone up and over on the first one there. The crab on. And this one. So the pulley with the bottom dropper hook on. So what to flapper really and it clicked up to a flapper um, on the other it's got lug and squid on and uh, a bit of uh, bluey and squid so I'm going to mix up the baits a bit on that one today and uh, fish different baits on that but on the other one on the up and over I'm just going to fish crab well I was going to make some baits up but I think we've got a lot of seaweed out there at the moment. Let's tighten the uh, tighten this up. Here we go. Yeah, there's a bit of seaweed on the line giving a bounce to it as well. So, you know, just got to try and avoid that. I might as well just bring the bait in, top the bait up. Well, the bait seems to have gone, which is very interesting. Yeah, nothing left on that. It's been stripped. Don't know if you can see that on the camera. I'm doing my best with the point of view. Right, let's get baited back up. Let's get it back out. Everyone is throwing everything they can 
at this session and there just doesn't seem to be any action whatsoever in the water. Uh, the only action I am getting is crabs, they're stripping me baits. Uh, that might be a good sign, you know, smooth downs might come in and take a few crab off, you know, um, you know, and start feeding soon, you know, um, but as of yet, nothing's really, uh, nothing's really happened. Uh, we're wading out quite far as well, we've noticed that it's quite shallow and there's a change in colour to the water so we are wading quite far out and getting our, our bait in that cold, different colour of water. I'm assuming it's quite deep in that, you know, uh, in that water where it's just changed colour a bit. Um, we've got baits on, crab, squid, or you know, all the things you think they'd want. Uh, we're even uh, Chris is even trying some cockle meat, uh, seeing if they, that entices them in or entices them to bite. But as of yet, nothing. Uh, oh, Ben, my brother, he's miles out there um, at the Rock Channel. He's gone for a right walk there. Uh, not heard any reports coming from him either. So, um, you know, there's plenty of people fishing. Let's just, uh, fingers crossed for the last hour, I reckon. Let's see what happens. I shall be back. Hopefully, with a fish. Hopefully mine. If not, I'll be back with someone else's. Whoa! And just like that, someone catches, Chris catches a flounder. Lovely. Nice size, it's thick, isn't it? Yeah, it's thick, that, 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 isn't it? Yeah, days half an hour after the low water hard fishing by all and it looks like the Cockney Rebel might be in with a smoothie it's very windy I do apologize so I hope you can hear me it's been hard fishing all round this is a well-deserved fish by Dono. So I've gone in to get it. He's playing it well, <laughs> he's playing it. Here it is. Here it is. Lovely. Yes, mate! There you go, Dono. Let's get a picture, mate. go again <laughs> you are on mine Tasky yeah I bet it's pulling hard in this current yeah <laughs> it went slack and then it just slammed right over I thought that something would be off can we see it yet when's that line gonna break it's quite a way out just out there somewhere Ja, 
Oscar, if mine goes, is it, yeah? They come right in when the tide switches, don't they? Like, start smashing it. They normally do, mate, yeah. Get a sight on it, yeah. Come on. Give him some of that. Come on. Yeah. That's a good fish, that is. That's a good fish, that. That's a cracker. Come on. Yes, mate! Go on. Oh, oh my god. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go on, mate. Yes. <laughs> Get in. Go on, then. Right. You're fine, mate. Get in there. That's a double that. That's a double that is. Come on, then. Come on, then. Yes. <laughs> that's a prop that's a proper one that's a stunning fish that is man yes mate oh no one head in there yeah <laughs> oh moment of truth yeah oh sorry no I'm going to take it off for those collar boots <laughs> 12, 5, 5. Yes, PB! <laughs> yes, mate! Where's the, Where's the soaking bucket, the bucket? PB? <laughs> Absolutely buzzing for you, mate. I said it come up because I was right above it filming. I was like, that's a good fish, that is. <laughs> that's an absolute banger. Well, I, might have to have a I might have to have a day off work tomorrow and come back. Yes, you should go. Yeah, man. I'm going to get some photos as well. I just fell asleep on the bank there. Yeah. I'll wrap the noodles round so it couldn't go that way. I'm drifting off. <laughs> Don't go bother steps. Give them space, okay? We'll see it in a minute. Round its tail, but it's back in the mouth now, isn't it? Yeah, now it's got some face. Yeah. Hey! That's Just round on the lip as well. Not right, so cold. Hold it on. 
What do you say, he's five or six? Yeah, we'll forget up there about you. Yeah. No common. Lovely. Are you getting back? Please be advised that fishing low water marks is extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone alone and or anyone who doesn't know what they are doing. Stay safe and respect the water.